After Tyler's brain injury, it was as if we were completely in the dark. And Joe Thompson came into that dark world with a flashlight and said, follow me. I know the way out of here. My name is Kim, and um, I have a son, Tyler, that suffered a brain injury at four years old. And of course, my family was devastated because at four years old, I just finished, you know, t-ball, practice with my son, teach him how to play baseball. I had dreams of him being a football player. And then all of a sudden, he was having a serious illness where he couldn't communicate anymore, he couldn't talk to us, so we were devastated. So the next thing I know, I got a call from a, a brain injury, and it, it was Joe, and she said, hi, my name is Joe Thompson, how are you doing? I said, okay, you know, maybe I can come by and visit with you because we can probably help you, and hopefully we can. And I was like, okay, but I didn't really consider it important because I didn't know what she represented. So I'm saying, okay, I thought my son was hospitalized, and from that he goes home. So by meeting her and, go, and dealing with brain injury service, I got help you know, with everything we have in our home, every item I have in my home. We have exercise kit, we have a stander, we have a wheelchair, we have a bath chair, we have a Hoyer lift, we have in-home uh, OT and PT. To me, it's like a, a sports, uh, you know, I, I said, you know, he's like at the goal line and now he's moved two yards and he's got 100 yards to go. And really, that's what, you know, really makes me um, be able to handle this thing in life when you have something devastating like that. When people come, you know, from nowhere to help you, it makes you feel like, wow, you know, I can do this. And that's really what it was. So I'm really grateful for brain injury services. I was seven years old when they discovered that, that I had a brain tumor. Before brain injury services, my life was very sheltered. But now after brain injury services, I am more outgoing and more, more personable. I went to culinary school. My specialty is Italian food. <laughs> Another passion I have is singing. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Life is much better. Since I met Claire, my case manager, I, I've, I've become a, a, a person. The nurse at the hospital told me that he would never talk, he would never write, he would never... So, so. Yeah, he would never do anything. He's talking and he's working and no. I, I can't thank the brain injury services enough for what they have done for Mark. It is spectacular. I want people to know that it could be you or me. It could be anybody. And these people were just living their lives like we're doing right now and something tragic happened and everything changed. Well, before I came to the organization, before I had my injury, I was working um, full time. I had a really good position. I had just gotten promoted. I had what was called a um, AVM and my brain which ruptured and caused the bleed. Well, at Brain Injury Services, I'd like to shine a light on Nikenya Lassiter, who's my case manager and has been for quite a few years. Um, she's helped me to get back to work. Um, today, I'm working at a company called Beltway Supply. It's a small woman-owned business. I've come, I can't even express how far I've come. I mean, at the time of my injury, I didn't think that I would ever get back to being um, a functioning person in society. But because of brain injury services, they've helped me to um, become that person again. The, the perseverance that they have, to not let that injury stop them from living their life, but to keep moving forward was very inspiring. They took a person that was down, that was pretty much just out of it. Didn't want to live, didn't have any reason, and they brought spirit to my life. They brought life to me again. I met a lady named Sarah Alley. She's a sweet lady. She made me find out who I was. I never knew me. I found out me after brain injury. That was the biggest present, the most valuable present in my life, to find out who I was, what I meant to this world, who I am inside. There's a new beginning. There's an open, there's, I'm so excited to be a part of brain injury. So I want to just thank you guys just for this because I know my life is headed really, really down here.